This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. We're going to investigate and modify. In this example, the remove method takes an index value within the array list as an argument and proceeds to remove that element. All right, so in this method, yeah, so remove to all other elements within an array list are shifted down to fill the space where the removed element is resided. If you put an array index value in that is not viable, so it doesn't exist, for the array list, you will receive an error. When we change the argument for remove method to loop to the loop control variable, so they mean index, we observe that every even index value from the original array list is removed. This is caused by the loop control variable incrementing and the dot size of the loop of the array list decrementing with every loop. All right, so let's print this at least. Okay. And so here we go. Remo size 5, 71 is removed. So notice that when we do this remove, it's actually returning the value that is getting removed. And if they have complete documentation, they do. This is going to say that. Method allows for remove a specific element. Output is the value removed. All right. And so what they're saying is if it doesn't exist, we're going to have an error, right? And now as this is going, the size of the list is changing. So when you change the argument, right now it's always moving the second value, removing the second value or the second index, which here is 71, right? Index zero, index one, index two. Now, index notice the size is now four because it knows the size changed because an array list your size can change when you use remove and we're removing uh index two index zero index one index two is 12 index two uh index zero index one index two so 39 is removed and now new list is printed and we are done so if we were to though do index let's check it out like they suggested so now this should be just removing, well, let's see, index five, uh, size five, the index, we're going to remove 42. So that's the first item. And size four, we're going to move 71 because I is now, or index is now one. Size three, we're going to remove 39 because index is now two. And then we're going to be done because the size of our list is two. But index, or i, the last iteration, I'm actually going to also, let's throw this in for clarity. I'm going to print out index to show you a bit more details. All right, so now the index value. So we have the size of three. I want this separate because this is the start of each new loop. All right, so index value is zero. Oh, I don't like how it's doing this. I don't like what they did. Okay. Fine. Uh, index value here, right here is going to be zero for our first loop, right? And we print the size and everything up here. So we're zero, our first loop. And then what gets removed is the 42. We're now at one, what gets removed index 171. We're now at index two, what gets removed 39. Well, now index is supposed to go up by one. So three, it then says three is less than, well, the size of the list is changing. Three is not less than two and we're done running. And if we hadn't put in a viable one, we would see this error. All they mean by that guys is like, if I put in a hundred here, something that won't work, it's not gonna work. Blah, index out of bound. Regardless, cool. Let's, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Onward.